Hi guys, let's talk iPhone 5. What? It's not called the iPhone 5. What's it going to be called then? The next iPhone. That's bloody stupid. Talking iPhone 5. Now, it may not be called the iPhone 5. The most recent iPad was called the new iPad, so that's one thing that's up for a little bit of debate. Um, the interesting thing is that at the moment you've got on the market, you've got the iPad 2 and you've got the new iPad. And I'm wondering what happens when the next iPad comes out and the iPad 2 disappears and the iPad that's the new iPad becomes the old iPad and the new iPad becomes the new iPad. And it starts to cause a lot of confusion. I think what will probably happen is that the current iPad will be the iPad 2012 in kind of brackets and then you'll have the new iPad and people will be able to buy that, uh, that iPad from the previous year um, because they're not going to want to call it the old iPad because that just makes it sound kind of, well, crap, to be honest. Um, and with the phones, you have uh, three phones on the market and because they release one every year, um, they could do that, is to go to a kind of a, a, a named by year. Um, look, there's a lot of rumours in terms of, I'll call it the iPhone 5 for this video. <laughs> it, there's a lot of rumours in terms of the iPhone 5, there's a lot of parts floating around and I, I sometimes think that Apple maybe uh, maybe release parts or make parts or create parts just to create uh, rumour and uh, keep the buzz kind of kind of going. Maybe it's a bit of a smokescreen, but um, um, I've got some notes here and um, the first thing, thing we'll, I'll look at is what features will it have? Well, basically, the big talk is big. Will it have a bigger screen? Um, a lot of people are talking, will it be 4 inch? Will it be 3.8, 3.9? Um, I don't think that Apple are going to go the way of the Samsung Galaxy S because there's been a lot of talk of the fact that Apple like to be able to have the phone so you can use it in one hand. As I reach into my pocket and um, take out my iPhone, I've got big hands and I can easily use this phone with one hand. Um, when the phone gets too big, you can't use it with one hand. Um, there have been designs floating around with um, a longer design, so the screen diagonally is longer. It's not wider, but it's longer. So it's more um, uh, 16 by 9, I guess. Um, so it's a slightly bigger screen, you can fit another row of icons. Um, but it's not making the device wider as such, so it's still yeah, still able to use um, the phone with one hand. And I think that's probably um, a good thing, to be honest. Um, I kind of like that idea. It's got a little bit more real estate in terms of the screen, but um, you're not getting a really fat, massive phone. I don't really like them personally. Um, I think they're too big. I mean, it's, it's like, hey, it's cool, it's got a big screen. It's like, try fitting that thing in your pocket and sitting down and not snapping the thing in half. I mean, um, yeah, I'm just not, not a fan of these massive screens for the sake of a massive screen. Um, other things, HD front-facing camera, please God, <laughs> let it have um, a HD front-facing camera. I think it's overdue. I would pay more money for a uh, front-facing camera. So, um, uh, 12 megapixel rear-facing camera, I think that's probably um, a good ballpark for where it will head. Um, the iPhone takes great pictures anyway. Um, uh, quad core processor. Well, uh, the iPad uh, 3, new iPad, um, only has quad core graphics. Um, look, there's potential that the iPhone um, 5 will go the same way. Go the quad core graphics, and then when the iPhone 5S comes out in a year's time, um, well, I should say more than a year's time, but a year's time on from the release of the iPhone 5, that they'll go the full quad core. Um, the dock connector, um, there's rumours that it'll, it will shrink down, um, that's going to be interesting for people who have docks. Um, I think some docks you'll be able to kind of get an adapter, um, some docks you won't be able to because it, 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 you know, like in a car, one where it actually holds the phone, um, uh, it won't be able to kind of fit and still hold the phone. Um, I think the design, um, the design, there's a, there's a bit of design floating around which is just basically this kind of elongated longer screen as I was mentioning before and it just looks exactly the same as an iPhone uh, 4 or 4S and I don't know that that's going to happen. We've seen this kind of two-tone back thing on the internet as well 
look, I think that they're going to uh, they've got to get rid of the glass back, um, but we'll uh, we'll wait and see. <laughs> we'll wait and see. But I think the design will change um, a fair bit. I hope. Um, uh, but yeah, look, uh, and the other one is is um, uh, NFC, uh, near, field, near field communication, um, and that's for using things like paying, where you can just kind of swipe your phone past a scanner, like you do with your credit card these days. You can just swipe it past, and it will pick it up, and you can just. Um, and I think that uh, the phone is potentially going to have that technology, although people have talked about Apple inventing their own technology, which would be. Um, uh, you know that would be typical Apple, wouldn't it? But um, let's wait and see. But that's another feature that it may have. So next is what do I hope it has? Oh, look, a better antenna. To be honest, um, I'm actually about to send my iPhone 4s back because it drops into SOS mode a lot, and I mean a lot. Um, so I think it's a faulty, um, a faulty unit. Um, so I can't be the best charge, but I still don't think the antenna on the iPhone is all that good compared to other phones. Um, I hope it's got Gorilla Glass. Um, if you're going to put a glass back on this thing, this new one, make it Gorilla Glass. I'd love to be able to take my phone, drop it on the ground and not worry about it smashing into a million pieces. Um, why wouldn't you want to put Gorilla, Gorilla Glass on it? Because, you know, um, it just makes sense to me. Um, so hopefully that's that's going to happen. Um, waterproofing. Hmm. There's all this technology that's coming out that's saying in a few years time all these devices will be waterproof. You'll be able to just drop them in a glass of water and they will be 100% waterproof. Um, so maybe that's something um, that will happen. I'd love to see it happen. I mean, Gorilla Glass and waterproof, pff, please, it'd just be, you know, phenomenal. I mean, um, I've killed two iPhone 3GS's through water damage, um, both unlucky situations. Um, and waterproofing would be fantastic. Um, wireless charging. Now, um, we've already got syncing over Wi-Fi. If we had kind of inductive charging, wireless charging, where you just literally put your iPhone on a pad, um, or even like a, a magnetic kind of charging connector, like you do on a, on a laptop, um, uh, on the the the, the i iBook. Um, iBook. MacBook, MacBook Pros, um, that magnetic connector um, where you don't actually have to plug in. You can just, um, but it's just being able to sit on a pad, charge it up, sync it up, um, get rid of the dock connector all together. Is that possible? Is that something that, that could that could happen? Um, it'd be great if it could. Um, believe me. Um, so yeah, and if you do the wireless charging, could you have no dock connector at all? Um, um, maybe, um, but. Uh, that might be a little way off just yet. I mean, I might be jumping the gun on that one. A bigger screen, as I mentioned before, um, I'd like to see, yeah, like I said, a, a longer screen with the device not getting too large. Um, and for me, the HD front-facing camera is one of the the, uh, the biggest kind of wishes. Um, now, I want to just look at quickly the bad things about the iPhone 4 and what they need to change. So it's the uh, things that need to be fixed from the iPhone 4. Well look, the bad things, there's a list, I've got a list. Um, the screen and the back, they break a lot. Um, there's no protection. Um, the metal rim on an iPhone 4 provides no protection for the screen. On the 3GS, the metal came up flush with the screen and it provided perfection. If you dropped it on a corner, it wouldn't break the screen. The iPad's the same. Um, the, the glass um, comes up and meet, meets with the metal. Um, but on the iPhone 4, the glass is exposed and it gets cracked a lot. Um, uh, the feel in the hand of the iPhone 4 isn't as nice as the 3GS. It never has been. It's square and boxy. It doesn't feel nice in the hand. I hope they address that. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. Um, the volume buttons on the iPhone 4. Um, it's, um, you know, here's an iPad. It has a rocker switch, as you can see just there. This has two buttons and they are stiff, they can be used as a camera button but by using them as a camera button you often get blurry photographs because you have to push them so firmly and then they, they click, they snap um, and that causes the camera to move and causes the photos to blur so that is something that they definitely, definitely need to address um, 
The antenna, as I mentioned earlier, is an issue. Um, I still don't think it's great. I think it needs to be improved. And just one little thing with iOS. The default apps. I don't use the stock app and I don't use Yahoo Weather because, well, it's crap basically. Um, it doesn't use the Australian Bureau of Meteorology. Um, so the weather reports are always wrong. Um, so, um, yeah, we need to do something about getting rid of those apps. <laughs> um, in terms of... Um, uh, the good points about the phone is the screen is stunning. It is still the best screen on the market by far. Um, the colour tones and the clarity are miles ahead of anything else I've ever seen. I must admit I haven't seen the Galaxy uh, S3 yet, um, but uh, um, so I'm, I'm not bringing that into the equation, but I would be surprised if it, if it has um, the clarity. The, the, the S2 screen was you know, average um, in terms of its its it's um it's color tones um uh, look the speed and the power of the iphone 4 are good um the battery life is good it could always be better of course um you could always have more battery life and um look the camera takes great pictures the quality of the camera um the pictures you get you know um are fantastic the camera app needs some work um but we'll wait and see in ios what happens there um so look, there's my thoughts on, on the iPhone. It won't come out until October, but it's worth waiting for. If you need an upgrade of phone, stop. Don't do it. If you're uh, an Apple user or you want to get into the Apple uh, marketplace, don't buy the 3GS um, now. Um, I think you should hold off and wait um, and, um, and wait for this new phone to come out. Um, just hold off, uh, live with the contract you've got and um, upgrade when the new phone comes out. I'm Simon from... Uh, Take my life video uh, please comment on this video um, love to hear your thoughts always try to reply to comments please like the video and um, love you to subscribe to the channel um, love your support and uh, we'll see you next time bye